Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this one we are grabbing everything we possibly can in When the Past Was Around. Now this is a really nice, heartwarming and enjoyable point and click adventure game, developed by Togue Productions and Mojiken Studio, published by Chorus Worldwide Games and is available to you for just £7.09. So we play as a young woman named Ida, who goes through the whole motions of finding love, losing it, letting go, and all the little bits in between. Now it's our job to join up disjointed rooms full of memories by solving puzzles and getting clues. Now as for achievements and trophies, you do get five for completing each chapter for the story ones. We've got a few missables, uh, sorry, <laughs> a few missable ones which are extremely easy, but ones to look out for are for smashing pots and opening windows. Now there are three points each in the game where we have to smash every pot on screen and open every window. But of course I'll, we'll come to that when we get there. Otherwise it's a relaxing, easy, peaceful and with some awesome, beautifully presented music. It is really a, just a really stunning looking game as well. But this should only take around an hour, hour to an hour and a half to complete. So let us begin. And you can have a look at the settings, but there's no there's no talking or anything in it, so we can just jump straight in with the new game. And again, there's not a lot that's going on in each room. You know, you don't have to. The, the puzzles are just nice, simplistic. There'll be a lot of cutscenes that we can't skip. Uh, also, what? Sorry, one more achievement that we need to get as well is every cutscene when Ida starts playing the violin, little music notes start appearing, and we just have to click them. I don't think they are missable because I think they stay on screen for as long as you've got to click them to actually proceed with the story. But obviously just uh, be aware of that. Again, I'll let you know when we get there anyway. So into the first room then. So what we're going to do first is have a look at the back wall. We're going to pick up Ida's key and then uh, tidy up the shoes just by clicking on them with the A button once. Lift up the carpet and get the other key, the owl key. Have a look at the desk, just to the left of Ida, tidy away the chair. And then what you have to do is actually drag Ida's key and then press the A button again on it to actually interact with it. Uh, click actually on the picture and that will unlock our first achievement, Memoir. Or if you're not very good at English, Memoir. I suppose. <laughs> Grab the owl key, chuck it up to the top and the owl key has a knife in it, a little knife cutter for some reason. Hmm, interesting. So grab the cutter and put it on the box on the very left hand side, grab the feather and that sign uh, signifies the end of the first room in the prologue. And so here we go into room two then so have a look and click on the drum that'll drop a key into the drum kit right there the two black ones uh, open up the two jars above that and grab the next item which is like a little music piece there's an owl in here so make sure to grab that I accidentally closed it but <laughs> to the left there's a crank in the bin now these numbers this is uh, basically just a clue that we need to use on the piano a little bit later on so uh, get rid of all the books. Now this game has a very fierce policy of it's always where you last look. So you've got to get rid of absolutely everything and it'll always be in the last place. So as I said, again, that'll just be a clue which we will come back to later. Go all the way to the right now and go to the piano. Now we have to, we're going to be getting the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star achievement. So it's basically just playing the piano in the exact same order that I do. So it's if one to seven is from left to right it's one one five five six six five so that will get you the twinkle twinkle a little star achievement so I'll just play it again for you just um, just so you're sure so it's one one five five six six five so also make sure to grab that then before we head on now we actually need to play the correct tune which is the code from the bookcase that we had a look at earlier on so it's one four Three, four, six, four, 
one. So that's one, four, three, four, six, four, one. And that'll get you another sort of broken piece right Yeah. So have a look at the uh, box on the table. Uh, get the crank with it. And then uh, you'll actually have to use the key, of course, to open that one up. Now, there's an owl that's supposed to be going there, which, as I said earlier, we'll be grabbing that from the right-hand side cabinet, uh, just where the chars were. So there it is. Yeah, so for some reason it closed on me the first time, which is a pain in the ass. But there we go. So now we can actually go ahead. So make sure you've got the crank, the key, and the owl, and that will give us our last music piece. And then we can scroll all the way to the left now and end this particular rumos. So on to room three in the prologue. First things first, move the two coffee cups on the table and grab the bread. Now this is where we're going to actually start smashing the pots. We have to smash every single one that is in the room. The one on the table doesn't count there. So just make sure to be smashing the exact same ones that I am. So there's five on this area of the room. So make sure that you have smashed the exact same ones and five. Grab the, uh, the moldy old sponge as well from one of the pots and then grab the tap from the red box as well. So that's this little area done. Now we can move on. Don't worry about the book for now. Oh my god, she's nursing an owl! And there's another two pots on this side of the room as well. So now go ahead, plug in the plug at the bottom of the plug-in screen, and then turn it off using the switch underneath the extractor fan. Have a look inside, and that gets us a watch hand. Now you can turn it back on, turn it off, whatever, really doesn't make a difference. Um, and then we're going to use the bread in the uh, Blitzenhausen there. Turn it on and that'll get us some crumbo bread. So the next thing we'll be doing then is actually cleaning our sponge. So we'll have to click on the sink next to it. Obviously, you're not going to clean it with your butt, you. Um, whoops, apologies. Uh, you'll have to actually put the tap in its original place first, turn it on and then just use the sponge with the sink. These, these physics are fantastic. This is what happens in video games, see? Make sure to open the window, we gotta do it anyway. And then move the breadcrumbs onto the plate. So that fat bird will get there. And you better get there before I get there, cause I'm a chubby guy. Uh, <laughs> grab the letter from the bird's mouth and that'll get us the smaller clock hand. And now, we are going to actually be using the sponge on the filthy mirror. Who leaves a mirror that disgusting? Hang in, mate. Now, have a look at that then. That's 1915, as you can see. And there's only one more thing left to do. And that clue is basically to get the clock to 1915, or 715, as it were. So you'll just have to click on the small hand, and then just get the big hand over to the right-hand side, 15. That's going to open that bad boy up. That gets us a crowbar. Again, what's a crowbar doing in a clock? I don't know, but people have their reasons. Especially over in America, they hide guns and crowbars in weird places. Anyway, uh, open the box up on the right-hand side. That gets us this little key, and that will be enough then to go onto the book on the table, just underneath the window, get the key with it. Job is a good one. So, as you can see, that's why there's so many owl things. We've got a, another human body with an owl for a head. And I tell you what, the men in her life must be absolutely disgusting if an owl is better looking. 
although he's a good violinist. But the reason I'm yammering on here is because this is the point I was on about with the musical notes. At some points during cutscenes, either the owl or Ida's going to start playing the violin, and these musical notes right here will be appearing. I'm pretty sure they stay on screen. Um, they don't move. I think you've got to click them to progress anyway. But always just be on the lookout for these. Um, just to progress the story a bit further, that's all. So just click all the musical notes quick as you can. And happy days, mate. <laughs> Owl's got a funny head. So that's the prologue over and done with. We are finally on to chapter one, and we are going to be getting our first missable achievement. And that is for breaking all the tombstones, and all we have to do is just interact with everyone, and they will break a little bit further. Uh, go to the left a little bit, and there's going to be a couple more tombstones, so make sure to break them as well. Um, only the ones directly in front of us, by the way, not the ones that the uh, owl is on or anything. So there we go then, that is the Requiem achievement, so just make sure to break all of the tombstones before we go. Have a look at the basket to the right of Ida, and that gets us a jewel, and we're going to be putting our crusty jewel in the owl's eye. I tried to make that funny, but I genuinely don't know what I was on about. Jewel in the eye, click the switch, go in the door, Ida's by. Just, just do that. <laughs> Next! So, once we're in this room, we're going to be grabbing the wheel just by the box, down by there, and then we're going to grab it, grab that crank wheel, put it on the gear, interact with it, and that gets us the achievement behind the curtain, and a bit of story progression. Nun, 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 nun. Oh man, Ida, my friend, you look sad. Well, let's cheer you up by moving on. So, by the desk where we basically start, have a look at that and open up the box. And that's going to get us the cutter. Again, there's a lot of cutters in this game. Hmm, interesting. Have a look at the suitcase and grab the duct tape, which is just to the right of Ida by the bin. And we're actually going to be getting another achievement now called Spick and Span. So, to do that, we need to go to the right side of the room. And all we have to do is just click on the boxes and the books that are on the carpet, basically on the floor, to tidy them away. And have a look at the ripped posters on the wall there, as you can see, just above the bed. That's the next thing we need to interact with, and that'll get us the Spick and Span achievement. There it is. So that's all you have to do. Boxes and books. Put the posters back up. Spick and Span is yours. So now we can lift up the carpet and grab the key. And then we're going to be going to the left just a little bit. 
There it is. And then have a look at the the starting desk, the underneath. We're going to open that up, get a on button, a powering on button. And have a look right to, next to the desk. We need to use the cutter uh, so we can slice that open to reveal a TV. Nice. Use the on button, and then we have to press the buttons now in a certain order. So it's uh, from, again, left to right, one to five. Click number two first, then number four, then number five, then number three, number one, sorry, one, one, and then three. Sorry, my bad got mixed up. So it's two, four, five, one, three. And that'll open up this... Uh, little compartment here get us the keys and then we can interact with the door and then move on out of here too and by the way what what was shown on the tv was just Ida growing up through her life that's it so it's very nice she had a very nice upbringing with the violins and everything i didn't because i'm not talented hmm. i am a good drummerist though So first things first, pick up the flowers directly by Ida. What that's going to do is, this is just a little clue again. So we'll come back to that a little bit later on. So it's that order we need to remember. And it's actually for this basket right here. So literally, I am not good with musical notes. So you'll just copy and <laughs> copy exactly what I do on screen to get it. Yeah, that'll be easier for you instead of me trying to explain. But what that does is gives us a little musical button. I forgot what it was then. That's how great I am with music. Uh, go over to the right hand side on the door. Use that button. Plug it in and then use the duct tape on the broken wire above it. See, I told you duct tape always comes in handy. And then give it a push. And away we go. So this is just another cutscene, but remember we've got to keep grabbing the musical notes that appear and out of the toy box in just a bit. So away we go now on to chapter 2, so things start getting a little hard and heavy. Hmm, no, it actually doesn't. But <laughs> scroll over, grab the keys that are on top of the box. There's a crank to the left of Vida, just on the floor, and there's a set of keys on the right on top of the box. And then what you need to do is click on the box behind Ida, use the key on it, use the crank on the box as well, because of course you ain't getting nowhere without a cranky. Cranky boy. Get the musical button and then put it in the violin case. Stick it inside. Mm -hmm. 
How much do you want for a brew, you cheeky bastard? 50 grand? Criminy. God. Daylight robbery. Anyway, enough of that. Open all the windows. There are four to open in the cafe. So this is the second point where we're going to open the windows. Remember to open all four. Grab the bird. Uh, not, not literally. Don't grab him by the throat or anything. Uh, that these, This again is just another clue. Which the bird has. Click on the table. This is another clue to something we've got to open in just a touch. But the main reason we're here is grabbing the 50 grand note. For whatever bloody country we're in now. Owl country, apparently. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, go ahead, give the £50,000 note, seemingly, to this rip-off son of a biatch right here. And he goes, oh, yeah, I've just ripped you off. Help yourself. Yeah, thank you. Very air to you. And uh, to the right of him in the cupboard is a teapot, which we're going to be grabbing. And we've got to make our own brew as well, so we've given him 50 grand, but we've got to make our brew ourselves. We've got to pour it ourselves. So go ahead, pour it into the cup. It's a nice pretty little flower. But we can't grab that yet, so back out of here for now. So go to the right and have a look at this box on the bar stool. Now, click the middle bottom one in, the top left, and the top right. And we'll be able to grab a piece of cake, which is a goddamn shame. I want to grab the rest of the cake again because I like food and I need it. But apparently we can't. So one, mm. one it is, then we can move outside. By the way, the, the note that was on the table a little bit earlier on, that was the clue which to do was, was to do with that box there. So first things first, when we go outside, again, and... Look, I genuinely look how beautiful the game looks. I can't stress that enough. It just looks so peaceful and amazing. But scroll to the left. We're going to put the cake on the plate. So we're just going to leave that. For, we're not even going to eat it. We've got to wait for somebody else to do it. It's annoying. Go to the right on the gate and then just click on it. We can't actually get through for now. But what this does is when we back out, three birds are going to come down with the buttons that we need. So just click on each bird and one of them will drop the symbol. So there it is, the one on the right hand side there. Now we can scroll all the way to the left where the cake was. So it was a good reason for us to put the cake on the bench is because the bird's like, hmm, I want cake. Grab the symbol next to him and then uh, click on the yellow sort of post box looking thing to the left of said bird and cake. Now you'll have to click in the buttons. It's the, the left three, so click the left three in and the middle right one. That'll open that up. We can grab the symbol and make sure to click on the bird a couple of times. This is for another missable achievement. Very, very easy. But again, it is, you know, spam on him as well. Just sort of, you know, give him a punch if you want. No, no, don't punch birds. No, for the love of God, don't punch birds. Uh, over to the gate, pop the symbols in. I'm not being responsible for anyone if they go to prison for abusing birds, by the way, okay? I was just joking. That opens up and we can swiftly move on. Don't abuse birds!
Man, Ida is really horny for this owl. I mean, in love, sorry. I get the two words uh, a little confused sometimes. Not horny, she's in love. And I genuinely love how some games are putting animal heads on human bodies lately. As i just done the guide for chicken police as well. Anyway, once we move on, scroll to the left a bit and grab the jug just to the left of Ida. And you'll have to drag that jug up to the water fountain. That'll fill up. Then we're going to drag that water fill jug next to the right of Ida, grab a key, and use it on the book, which the Darkened Owl Man has. Oh yes, my favourite time, it's breakfast time. And anything to do with food. So, first thing we're doing, have a look at the table underneath and interact with the pile of feathers. That's going to get us the matches. Grab the blue bit of paper. And then what you need to do is use the match on the mug to um, uh, melt the candle. But we're going to be using this mug to make a brew for Ida. So she's got like a waxy cup of tea. Hey, each to their own. I don't judge. Hmm, sounds nice, actually. Have a look at the counter anyway. Now we need to, like I said, we need to make a brew and we need to make a coffee for the owl man. So, first things first. Obviously, you cannot use an empty uh, teapot with an empty cup. because It doesn't work. So, grab your milk and then put it in the teapot. And then use the third box down, the coffee beans. Put that in the teapot and then interact that with the cup. Then we can grab the mug. That's the owl man's done. Now, Edis does seem a little bit more complicated, but it's really not that bad. So put the cup on the saucer, then grab the first one, which is like the tea leaves, and then grab a flower, which is the fourth box, and that is that. So grab that, head back out, and go to the left, interact with the table now, and then, of course, make sure to put the cup of tea on the bottom one, and the owl at the top. Obviously, it's easy, you can tell by the patterns. What a lovely... How does an owl drink? It kind of looks like Roy Hodgson, doesn't it? The football manager. <laughs> and if you don't know who Roy or Hodgson is, Google him with the owl in the Google name and it'll come up. So anyway, now the fat gets want some biscuits, which we've got to get. So click on the oven and then click back on the table. Make sure to grab the flour, which is just by the vase. That will come in handy later on. So make sure to grab that. Get the biscuits up and then just keep spamming the biscuits and then they will eat it. They look nice, actually. They do. They do look nice. But it is Christmas Eve. Maybe I'll uh, make some homemade biscuits later. Or I'll just order a Chinese. Yep, order a Chinese it is. So, Tea Time Symphony, that's going to grab us the next achievement. So very seemingly then, looks like we are writing a love song. Oh, that's nice. Maybe it's called The Owl and Ida in Love. Or maybe it's another song called I Want to Peck Your Boobies Off or something. Um, <laughs> right, anyways, as we begin, have a look at the red bucket. There is a star we need to collect under there. And then up against the post is a piece of coral. So we'll be getting another missable achievement now. So scroll to the left and click on the ice cream van. And then just keep spamming the right side ice lolly. Uh, as long as you keep spamming the right side, you will get the achievement right tastes better. So there we go, do that. 
and then they'll put it together and this is basically again this is a little clue that we need for the red box which is in the kitchen a little bit later on but we won't worry about that for now and we'll come back to it a little bit later on <coughs> excuse me so to the left you can see there is a coconut on the table grab the flag out of that and then a very well hidden flag on the ship right there so make sure to grab that one as well and then have a look at the sand castle Put the um, X flag on the left hand side and then the diamond flag on the right hand side. A turtle boy is going to come up and he's going to be like, hey dude, alright, I get out your way man. I'm stoned as hell anyway. Because for some reason all turtles look stoned in every film and TV show ever. Grab the shell, click the bottle and then we're going to put the shell, the coral, the star and the flower in it. So then that is part two of I Wanna Peck Your Boobies Off complete. Now we've just got to do this little campfire section. So grab the matches, put them on the fire or the wood to make a fire even. And that's the first part of this bit done. So we're going to scroll to the left now, open up the camper van door and grab the camera lens. Don't want to put the camera, we'll just grab the lens. Head to the right and have a look at the telescope. Uh, get the camera lens that we grabbed just now and put it actually on the telescope because that's how we see things and eventually we're gonna get there camera lens on the telescope camera lens on the telescope there we go I listen to myself eventually and then actually click with the telescope now head up to the sort of top right and you see these sort of what look like constellations and you don't have to do anything just line them up and it'll reveal this owl creature go to the left ah, owl creature an owl an owl so the next one, we go into the bottom left. Again, we just have to line them up and it's going to reveal a bird of sorts. And that'll be the second one complete. So the third one is just a touch more complicated, but it isn't too bad. Um, so we need, basically again, this is a clue for another puzzle we're gonna do in just a second. I'm not gonna explain it. I'm just gonna tell you what to do. So head on over to the right now and there's going to be a basket as you can see. With the middle clock, you have to click on the middle clock and then just change um, the middle clock where it says 5 to 305. So put the small hand on 3, the big hand on 5 and that will open up the basket for us. There's a whole other complicated way of doing things and explaining but like I said it's just not doing it. So middle clock, 5 past 3 and we're going to grab the scissors. Why have you got so many clocks? To protect a couple of oranges and stuff. And a couple of bottles of water and a pair of scissors. Somebody's paranoid. Somebody's been smoking the wacky backy, I think. So, we are almost done with this section. But we do have to now go all the way back to the left to the kitchen. We're going to actually go into the red box now. So as you can see the red box is on the right hand side of the screen behind the door past the uh, by the fire extinguisher so click in these numbers two seven three zero 
Whether it has to be done in that particular order, I'm not too sure, but as long as you click those numbers, 2730, that gets us another crowbar. So now we can head back to the beach. Head to the right, uh, don't go into the camping area, there's a box on a little ship, or oh, a little boat right here. Grab the crowbar, use that, and we're going to get a little screw once again. And now we can head into the camping area, and we're basically going to be making a little fan. A little cute, little cute game. So, have a look on the table right by the camper van, which is directly in front of us there. Yeah, click on it first. There we go. Right, so grab the blue piece of paper, put that on. What you need to do then is just interact with all four corners of this piece of paper with the scissors, and that'll get it cut. The instructions are in the book, by the way. So as you can see, it'll tell you what to do. So cut all four sides, and then we just need to fold these pieces of paper over. So again, I'm not sure if it matters what side you do it, but it's just worth sort of getting the four sides in together should shouldn't it's extremely easy anyway and then there's a stick poking out of the ground right next to where Ida and Roy Hodgson are so use your fan on there and that'll sprout up another flower and that will be part three out of three of I wanna peck your boobies off done and that would not surprise me in this era of life 2020 that the song I wanna peck your boobies off written by Owl and Ida would get to number one would not surprise me in the slightest. Well, that was a really nice time when they got married, but uh, you know what games are like? They like to take a dark turn, don't they? So we wake up in the dark, cold, alone. I will seemingly not here still. All we have to do for this area is just turn on all of the lights. Nice and simple, Pimple. So, chapter 4, this is the last quite big chapter. Chapter 5 is very small. So, Owl's ill, needs his pill. Let's go and get him. So, hang up all the washing baskets first. The scarf, where the hell has he been in the scarf? Head all the way to the left. Click the radio once and that'll get us the achievement Sound of Silence. Then have a look at the safe underneath the table and then just type in the code 1915. It's not 
the code to get in and get his pills, but it does give us another missable achievement. So turn off the radio, put 1915 into the safe, and that'll get us two achievements in quick succession. So now we actually have to do some work around Yeah, Open up the cupboard and grab the detergent or the softener, wherever you're from. And then there's a red bucket just next to the towel and the clothesline there, so grab that. Then head over to the right and turn on the tap, just to where, uh, just to the left of where the bed is, by Owl. Roy Hodgson, sorry. I keep forgetting his name, of course. So you fill that up with water, and then grab the scarf as well. We need to be given that a wash, because he's been rolling around in mud or something. So obviously, put the bucket of water in the left-hand side one, put the detergent, softener, soapy goodness in the right one. Um, you can't actually put the scarf in here. Back out, click on the washing machine again, so it opens, put the scarf in, and then interact with the top, and then turn it on. So obviously we need to be doing a little bit of waiting, but there's nothing else to do for the moment. So what we'll do is fill up our bucket with water once again. Again, that's going to come in handy just a little bit later on. And if you have a look on the chair and the table, there is a book and a package. Now, we can't actually get in here yet, but we need a cutter. Um, to grab that so we'll come back to that a little bit later on and then if you turn this page and then turn over all the pictures These are going to be part of a clue again uh, For another box that we need to open up So once that's done we can open up the scarf and then we can give the scarf to Roy Roy the owl Roy Hodgson the owl by the way and this again that is the that is another clue for later on the pictures on the towel and then all you have to do is turn the second one to three, so it reads 1935, and then grab the pills, and we'll grab that one to Roy Hodgson as well. No offense, Roy Hodgson, you are a, a fantastic manager, by the way, but you look like an owl. I look like a pea, so <laughs> we all look like something. Roy, didn't your mama ever tell you, if you're ill and you're going to die of heart failure or something, don't play your violin? Anyway, who knows? So, grab his pills. They are literally to the right of Eda, just by the flower pots there. Kind of hard to see. And then, remember the book with all the musical notes? Again, I'm not going to explain. I'm just going to let you... I'm just going to let you copy exactly what I do on screen here to make life a lot easier for all of us. And you'd think that would get him what we actually need, but it sort of um, deflects that, so no. But we do grab a seed, and then have a look at the empty pot to the right. Obviously, put the seed in, put the water in. Because this is where the bucket of water comes in handy. That will grow at an alarmingly, increasingly fantastical speed. But that gets us the flowers we need, so we can give both to Big Roy over the side. God damn it, Roy, stop disappearing, brother. 
Anyway, since he has disappeared, what we're going to be doing is heading through that door then. So not the gate, we're going through the door on the left. Girl, you just got knocked the fudge out, honey. So, we're in the dark-ish. Have a look at the bin to the right of Eda. Uh, have a look at both of the pieces of paper, but it's the one on the left, 13, 12, 15. That is the code for the electrical box, which is just up above Eda's head to the left of the door. So type that in, in order. So that's one, three, one, two, one, five, and that's going to get the electricity back on. Electricity. Electricity, I do know how to say it. I was just being an idiot. Sorry. So now grab the trowel from the plant pot underneath and we're just getting up to our first sort of slightly complicated puzzle. Now what I'm going to say is to the left on this chessboard, I'm going to say as owl one, bird one, etc. So click owl one and then bird one, bird two, owl one, then owl two, then click on Owl 3, then Bird 1, Bird 2, Bird 3, and then Owl 1, Owl 2, Owl 3, Bird 2, Bird 3, and Owl 3. And then pick up the black cube, which is the dice. Looks like a cube. So apologies for that was a bit confusing. I tried to sort of make it kind of obvious, but again, apologies if... It was a bit too complicated. If it was, just mute me, by all means. So, all the way to the left, hang up all the clothes by clicking on the washing basket and then grab the cutter inside the shirt pocket. And then we'll be going straight outside into the garden again. And then we're gonna use the trowel on the right-hand side sort of dirt patch right there. Now this is more complicated than it looks. It's one of those where you've got to get the picture. Um, as one, it's basically just a cookie jar. So my advice, or the way I done it was, I got the, <laughs> where it says ASCO, that's funny. So I managed to get that in order, but it might be better going from the outside ring first. It's, in my personal opinion, it's the most complicated puzzle in the game, but it's still very easy once you get an order going. So this may take you a couple of minutes um, to sort of figure out where it's all going, but eventually you will get it and you will get the second shape a second black circle so once we are done here then we can go through the gate now and we'll be go heading back upstairs and we'll be opening up the box that we couldn't earlier which is to the left and it's on the table remember so use the cutter on this box and then just copy exactly as I do here. Again, this one's easy enough, easier than the cookie one just now, but just follow what I do on screen. And that should be the tri the black sort of looking triangle, and that will be us then. So now we can head back through the gate, through the next door, and down to where Ida is ferociously, frantically trying to get in. Then again, it could have just been easier if Owl would have let us in. Come on, Roy, you need to do better than that, boy. But there we go. So, so put them all in, but we need to, to press these buttons in a particular order to get in. 
So, yeah, we can't just actually walk in. We've got to do it in a particular order. So, it's square, circle, triangle, circle, square. And then that should allow us then to try the handle. If it doesn't work, just try it again. But it is usually that particular order. So then, this is the next point where we've got to break all the pots, but this is unmissable. We've basically got to trash the entire room now um, to find Owl's pills, or Roy's pills, sorry, I want to keep forgetting. And basically, we need to trash everything, and like I said earlier, it's it will always end up in the last location. So if you've trashed everything and you still haven't found them, chances are that you haven't trashed exactly everything in the room. So once you do that, the pills will show up in the last location. Location? So that's it then. We are now roughly about six or seven minutes away from the end of the game. It's a very short and very easy chapter. We've now just got to find three musical notes in each particular scene. But the first thing we're going to do as we're back in the cafe is just open these same windows we opened earlier on. So three on the left, one on the right. And this time we're not giving 50 grand to the barrister, Heken Sugma. And again, this is exactly like we just did. So you just got to look through all the boxes and the last box will always have the musical note in it. Once you find that musical note, give it to uh, Roy on the right hand side. There we go. So that's the musical note. Screen will change lovely. Give it to Owl. Roy. Royal. <laughs> anyway, head through the door when you're done. No collectibles in this scene, just break all the sand castles down again until you find the musical rote uh, musical rote and then give it to Y. And for this last scene, we need to actually smash all the pots. This will give us the achievement for smashing all of the pots. Again, I'm pretty sure this is unmissable, as we need to break them all to grab the musical note anyway, and then give it to Y once again. So I think it's only really one time that you can miss breaking all of the pots. But as long as you've been following along with the guide, you should get the shattered achievement. Then we can move on, then we've got one more scene left to do, and then it is the credits! But very easily, we just need to get the correct musical notes in the correct statue. Correct statues, correct thing, correct... yeah. So then it's this... 
circly boy and then it is the double over big boy again don't know what the hell these notes are called but as long as they are all in you've actually got to collect the feathers from each of those now a little flap would have opened up as you can see so make sure to grab the feathers from each of those before you go on there I mean it makes no difference you just sort of waste a couple of seconds as I just did there now we can move on give all three feathers and that is the end of the game but there is a missable achievement that we'll be grabbing in the credits. Also, by the way, if you want someone to come back to life and you miss them dearly, go ahead, grab some feathers and play my violin song and they'll come back to life, apparently. Happy days! Who knew? Who knew? Ah, what a sweet game and a sweet ending. Again, feathers and violin, play it at someone's grave, and then pff, job is a good one, apparently. So, very important here, what we need to be doing, we can't just skip the credits. Make sure to be clicking all the musical notes. This does go on for a good couple of minutes, about five minutes, but we need to make sure to be clicking every single musical note, and that'll get us the virtuoso achievement for collecting all the musical notes through the game. So obviously through the game is fine, but you may end up missing one on the credits. So just be, just be vigilant, be aware, get them eyes sharpened. Click every single musical note and then as soon as it's done, achievement will unlock and that is the game finished.
so that should be that, that then, guys and gals, virtuoso done. So thank you so, so much for watching. Guys and gals, I hope you enjoyed the game and the guide. We had a good couple of laughs along the way, as we always do. Uh, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on my socials, Twitter, Instagram. I'm on Patreon as well. So any, anytime you head on over there, I really do appreciate it. The links will be provided in the description below. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters so far, including and especially Tim G84. Thank you so much. And there we go then, guys and girls. So thank you very, very much. Thank you very much again. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I'll see you in the next one, guys and girls. Big love.